Now it has been a while since we last talked about uh, Scripna for Jira on server and uh, today I found one interesting topic. I have covered something similar in the past but uh, let us also cover this uh, particular uh, uh, question. So there was a question in the community about uh, how to add a custom but button on the release page. So we all know about this uh, release page where you have the option to release a version in uh, of course your Jira instance. We are talking about server version, not cloud. Now the question, if you if you look at the question here, the question is of course straightforward. Alexander is trying to add a button here and uh, this button has to be there on the release page right next to the uh, release button. Now we can do that quite easily with uh, the help of uh, Scripner fragments. Now I'll go to my cloud, inst not cloud, um, I I'll go to my Jira server instance and uh, I've already done it. So I have this button on top that I just added. So what I'll do, I'll uh, remove this and add it again just to show you how it works. And we can also make it look like this nice button that will look exactly like uh, the one that you have on the release page. Now if you go to the fragments, I'll pr I'll probably show you the fragment that I have, then, then, then we'll of course create a new one, a fresh fragment. Now what we can do is we can maybe, let us create a new one, I think that will be a great idea. So let us create a new one, a third one. So we'll have three buttons, so we'll add a new web panel. And uh, when you add a new web panel, you have to give this web panel a nice name, like let us say yet another release web panel. And by the way, we have to add a panel, not a button. So no, not a web item, so it has to be a panel. So when you add a new web panels note, you can then uh, mention the location which is atl.jira.releasereport.top.write.panels. I hope this is the correct one which I also mentioned uh, in my in my response to this question. So yeah, that is the correct one. And we have to give this uh, a nice uh, name. So maybe I'll give it as, uh, I'll, I'll name it as a release panel button, another, and uh, menu text yet another button and wait. So th we have to also specify some kind of a weight here. So maybe two, because the one that I have, I think uh, it's the one that I already have. Uh, I think it's weight is one. And you can also add a condition, which is always great, but we'll directly jump to this uh, provider class slash script. Now, if you look at the snippet here, you have the option to, I mean, you can copy the snippet and you can paste it. So you can have this, you can basically display some message here, like uh, maybe you want to say visit, or maybe I want people to visit my, my Ravi's uh, site, which I already have, but maybe something else. Ravi.pro, I, ha I have one blog that I maintain and write using just Emacs. So, do, do take a look at this blog. So I'll, 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 I'll modify it, but I've, but for the timing, I just want to have uh, this text displayed. So I'm going to show you how it looks like. We can preview and we can uh, click on the add button. So when, when we, when we add a new web panel and uh, if we go back to the release page, so I have to go to the project, then basic, basic is the name of my project and please ignore the uh, license expiry on my Jira instance, I have to I have to use some evaluation key. So we will go to the release page and uh, when we click on this release, we'll see something hopefully. Yep, we do have uh, this uh, message displayed here. Nothing but Ravi.pro. Now our goal is to make, basically make it look like a button and uh, maybe you want you want some ability to click on it. So if you look at the release button, so this release button was there earlier. I mean, this is the release, this is the only button that you have. So if you click on it, and if you maybe 
do inspect of this 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 particular element what i want to do is i want to basically copy this class because uh, using this class i hope you can see it let me try to increase the size so there is a class here that uh, we can uh, reuse and uh, we can basically um make sure that uh, when we are uh, using our uh, when we create a link or whatever we want to create in this case it it would be a link that people can click on and i want that link to appear and to make i want to basically make it look like a button and there is also already this class this aui so in case you are in case you are trying to modify a jira user interface there there are some set of classes that you can or some some web uh, there, there's already like different things that you can reuse so basically it's all about using the right class in your web elements in your uh, web items or whatever you are trying to do with the ui now we'll go back to the to the uh, panel and uh, i'll modify this now what we want to do we want to basically create a link so what i'll do first i want someone to click on this uh, link so we we can of course make this link by using uh, a href so i'll create this hyperlink and uh, i want people to visit my site which is uh, ravi.pro and i will close this uh, tag now before we close the anchor tag what you need what you also need to do you need to also escape the double quotes so you can do that using this uh, backslash and uh, you need to then close this uh, this anchor so this is all good and uh, this looks fine now we want this uh, to appear as a button so what i'll do i'll copy the class that i basically found by doing inspect and before i do that i'll uh, make sure i escape the double quotes and i'll copy the class here and this looks all right to me if i do a preview and if i do update let us uh, go back to the to the release page and do a refresh and let us see how it looks like so it looks quite okay to me and uh, there there is already this uh, uh, i mean what you can also do you can also try to uh, play with this with, with the css you can also insert some style for example there is a space right now in between and uh, what we can also try is uh, if we go back to the previous uh, maybe i want to if you go back to the panel let us try to experiment a bit so maybe i'll change the weight to maybe one i don't think we can use the minus one uh so let us uh, change it to just blank and uh, let us see can we change the position of this uh, ravi dot pro to maybe something else so now it is uh, right next to the release and uh, what i'll do i'll probably uh, disable my other web panel and i'll show you how we can uh, add a bit more style to it if we want so if you look at the button that we just added it is it is looking good but it is right, right next to the release button and uh, i want some kind of a space in between so if you go back to the panel configuration and uh, if you want you can also insert uh, or use some kind of a style like if you type in here style is equal to and i'll make sure i'll uh, escape my my uh, double quotes and here we have to specify a margin uh, right or padding right whatever you think works margin right maybe maybe 2 pixels i guess 2 pixels should be fine i i believe and uh, update i want a little bit of gap not really too much and uh, we'll do a refresh and hopefully hopefully we'll have uh, some gap now we have two buttons ravi.pro and uh, release if you click on uh, and by the way it is nothing but hyperlink it is not really a proper html button you can i mean uh, it is i mean i think the point here is that you have to understand how to do it like once you are able to insert a web panel it is up to you what you want to insert here it could be anything you want 
it could be some message it could be maybe a bit more css and if you click on it you are taken to to the if you are basically taken to the to the site uh which is of course in this case uh, nothing but my blog but uh, if you want to do something within jira or maybe you want to call a custom rest endpoint using a script now you can and you you can of obviously take a look at i, I believe I, to, i i have talked about this how to uh call how to first create and define your own custom rest endpoint and uh, to to do something with that rest endpoint you can basically use some kind of a panel like the one that we just created so there are so many things that you can do with uh, this uh, this web panel using uh, script nurse and that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today